Last time I spoke with Carson, he was a few days away from enduring a week of chemotherapy that would lead to an eight-hour bone marrow transplant, followed by at least 30 days in the hospital for recovery. But despite the daunting surgery and lengthy recovery process, he left with this promise. I just want people to know that I'll be back. Uh, it's, it's just a, it's a minor setback and I'm gonna get through it and I'll be back for everything. Well, Carson held true to his promise. Just three months after being released from the hospital, he was back with his lacrosse team. The doctor I had in the hospital said it would take a miracle for me to play this season, so I'm pretty happy I'm out here. Most people take about a year to get into things like school and uh, sports again, but uh, I was in, back in lacrosse in about three months, and I was back to school in about six months, so I'm really lucky to be, able to be in that position. The rehabilitation process wasn't easy, and it continues with weekly doctor visits. Carson wouldn't say he's 100%, but he stays optimistic. It was really hard. Um, I was so out of shape, and I would get out of breath so quickly, and uh, I was getting used to the feeling of running again because it had been like a year since I was able to do that without just passing out. My team was really great, like helping me get back into it and everything and helping me get ready for the spring season, which is so important. Carson admits that one of the major motivations for a quick recovery was being reunited with his team. Sports is definitely something that gave me something to look forward to because this was a big thing that I wasn't able to do and it's a big part of my life so I was glad to be back to it. Just being able to celebrate with my team with the pads on and the jersey on was it's just different than being out there with nothing on. Carson is hopeful that his weekly appointments will soon become monthly and then every six months and so forth but in the meantime he remains grateful for the progress he has seen so far. For In Focus, I'm Kiera Hay.